एवरीवन हे इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीना इक्वेशन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन वाज आस्ड बाय रेहान द क्वेश्चन हियर इज माय फादर एज फाइव इयर्स एगो प्लस ट्वाइस माय एज नाउ गिव 65 माय एज फाइव इयर्स एगो प्लस थ्री टाइम्स माय फादर एज नाउ गिव्स 130 What is my father age? So here they're talking about father and son age, and they're comparing with five years ago. What was the condition? Since we don't know the age of father, and we don't know the age of the son, right? Here they have not given son, but I'm assuming suppose it's a son. So five years uh, before, what was the age of father and the son? They have given relationship. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find. by taking a variable now you can take any variable so in this case i'm going to take a variable x and y you can take a b p q anything it's completely upon you so let's start now if you read the question they're comparing the present age with the 5 years back like 5 years ago plus twice my age now now means he's talking about the present age so here we're going to assume the variables x and y to be a present age of father and son so we're going to write down that first so let this is present age so let present age of father b x okay this is a father age it's a current age now similarly we're going to assume a variable y for the son age so let present age of son b y now we have taken the variable x and y now we're going to find use the relationship and form a equation so in the first one what they are saying my father age 5 years ago means suppose the current age the present age of father is x 5 year ago means the age will become x minus 5 i hope it's clear because we're going to subtract 5 because we're talking about past so from the current age if i remove 5 years that will be the age of 5 years ago so 5 years ago plus twice my age means whatever age it was a son's age twice of it so 5 years ago means so 5 year ago father age will become x minus 5 and plus twice my age twice means two times a present age present age is y so twice means the son age will become 2x now when we add up they saying when you plus it when you add this to it will going to give 65 so x minus 5 plus 2x will be will going to give us 65 So this we're gonna form one equation. So let me write down the equation properly. So the first equation we got is five years ago the father age was x minus five plus twice my age. Twice my age means two times of the present age of boy, which was y. So two into y, or you can write down two y. So when you add this two, it's gonna give us sixty five. So this was the first equation we got. Similarly, we're gonna find out for the second one. In second one. my age 5 years ago now they're talking about the son's age 5 years back so son age 5 years ago it will be so whatever current age it is y minus 5 okay we have taken y because talking about the uh, my age my age is nothing but the son here plus Three times my father age. Three times means three into whatever father age is. Since here the father age is x, so it will be three into x. So here we'll get father age is equal to three x. Now when you add it, because they have given plus, when you add this two, it will gonna give you one thirty. So this will be a second equation. So let me write down that. So y minus five. Plus three x is equal to one thirty. Now we got two equations, right? So we have to solve these two equations and get the value of x and y, which will be the present age of father and son. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reduce the first equation more further. Means I'm gonna transpose this minus five to the right hand side, and I'm gonna make this equation much easier form. So when you Transpose this minus five to the other side. The minus will become plus. So this will be x plus 
2y is equal to so 65 plus 5 which is nothing but 70 so from here we'll get y plus 2y is equal to 70 this is one equation now similarly the second equation also going to reduce to the lowest form so here I'm going to transpose this minus 5 to the other side so this will become y plus 3x is equal to 130 so minus 5 and transpose this to other side become plus so plus 5 so the equation will be I'm going to just rearrange the variable. I'm going to write down 3x plus y instead of y plus 3x. It will remain same. So this will be equal to 135. So we got first equation and we got second equation. So we have to solve this two equation and get the value of x and y. So these are linear equation in two variables. So let's see how to solve. So I'm going to use here substitution method. You can use elimination method. It's completely upon you. Whichever method you follow, the answer will come same. So I'm going to use substitution method. So what is substitution method is? First, I'm going to take. So let me write down the equations once again here. So the first equation we got is x plus 2y is equal to 70. This is the first equation we got. I'm going to transpose this 2y to the other side. So I'll get x is equal to 70 minus 2y now i'm going to substitute this x is equal to 70 minus 2y here in the second question in place of this x i'm going to substitute 70 minus 2y that is why this method is called substitution method we're substituting one value into the other equation so let me take this as or you can just write down substitute x value x in equation 2 I'm going to substitute in it so when you substitute we'll get 3 into in place of x I will write down 70 minus 2y okay then plus y is equal to 135 now if you solve this you can see this has become a linear equation in one variable only one variable is there which is y so first we're going to find out the value of y and then we're going to find out the value of x or if since they're asking directly what is a father's age fathers we have taken x you can do one thing you can take y is equal to and you can substitute in the first anything you can do it but you get the same answer so we're going to solve this equation so when you solve this I'm going to just open the bracket to so multiply this. So 7 in sorry 3 into 70 will be 210. Then we have minus sign so minus. Then 3 into 2y is 6y. Then plus y is equal to 135. Now we're going to transpose this to 210 to the other side and minus 6y plus y will become minus 5y so minus 5y is equal to 135 minus 210 now we're going to subtract this so minus 5y is equal to so when you subtract this you will get here 5 and then you will get here 7 okay 75 now from here minus because 210 is a negative like it's a, a greater number so we'll get here so you can transpose this minus 5 to the other side now this minus 5 is in multiplication transpose this other side comes in division so y is equal to minus 75 upon minus 5 so you can transpose negative sign also so negative sign will get cancelled you can cancel 5 and 75 and 5 table so this is 5 ones are and 5 twenty five fifteen are so here we'll get 15 so we got a y value is equal to 15 that is sun age is 15 we're going to substitute this y value in the one of the equation and get the value of x that's the father's age so therefore y is equal to 15 so sun age we got 15 right so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to substitute this in the first equation you can substitute in second equation you'll get the same answer so here in the first equation if i substitute so x plus in place of y i'm going to put 15 so 2 into y so 2 into 15 is equal to 70 so x 
plus 30 is equal to 70. Now transpose is 30 to, th 30 to the other side. So x will be equal to 70 minus 30 which is 40. So therefore we got x is equal to 40 which is a father's age. So we got the value of x and y. See here I have found the value of y and then x. To just show you that we can find the age of son also. If you directly want to find out the age of father, you can just take x is or y is equal to and then you can substitute in any one of the equation. So I hope this one is clear. In case you have any questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.